Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a project burndown chart in Calc. So on the screen, I have a 10 day project, the days across the top, the planned hours for each of these tasks, which are listed in column B, are listed in column C. And then the actual hours, which is slightly more, you can see there, are listed in column N. So I just populated it there. So what I want to do is use these two formulas, which basically will give me two lines that I can then use for my chart. The first line will be, tell me how much effort I've got left to do. The second line will tell me, this one will tell me what I should have done on that day based on the duration. And then that will be a slightly different line. So first of all, this formula, I'm just going to type that one in there. So I'm going equals clicking on C13 and now I need to dollar sign C13 and then that needs to be minus the sum of that column this column here and I'll just close that bracket but I need to dollar sign the D3 so that stays so then it'll add up day 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 1, 2, 3 and 4 etc etc so just dollar sign that and then tick 47 two hours there from 49 is 47 so that's worked and then i'll just put it across one cell 44 so there's two four five five 49 so that works so i'll put it all the way across and i get to minus two at the end now this one is a line that's going to tell me what i should have done so this is a bit more involved so i need to Click on C13 again, so equals C13 dollar signed F4 minus C13 dollar signed, so I'm locking those. And then that needs to be divided by the duration, which in this case is 10 days. And then times, now I'm going to use the count A function across this column, count how many items there are, count A counts if there's anything in a cell so count a starting in cell d2 which as you can see there needs to be dollar signed f4 colon and then d2 again so that's the bit that moves close that bracket click the tick 44 i should have had and then i'll move that across and it comes down to zero so that's the data so now what I need to do is highlight the titles and the data and get my chart so insert chart and the chart comes up the chart wizard comes up I don't want that one I want a line chart and I want this one and I'm just going to go through the data range because um, series is not in columns the series is in rows and then I get the graph looking something how I want it to be. And then just follow this through. Everything else is okay, actually. I don't need a title for this. Just go finish. And then um, click off the graph. And just undo that. I didn't mean to do that. Move. Oops. Move the whole thing under, under here. Like so. Okay, a bit wider. So you can see the graph there, and then you can see the data above. So basically, this is this red line is the planned, the ideal effort, and you can see the blue line. So initially, you was uh, uh, taking longer to do things than you should have done, and then you went under. So it sort of come under, and then you you, you regained a bit of time. But if I mess about with some of these figures, for example, if I put um, two in there you see I did that extra hours there it's, it's took seven now if I put if I delete that out and delete that four out you see the, the I've come right under the line now so um, that was the planned and now I've come under it so I'm ahead of it and then the finishing off I'm going still got two hours to do according to that so I'll put the two hours back in there 
and it drops down but I came under so I went over then under and that's basically what a burn down chart is your planned line against your actuals and once you start messing about with these figures these lines will react to that so that's all I want to cover on this little video thank you for your time I'll catch you on the next one